Hi, we're here at the RCTV main stage with um, Mike Lake, the Democratic candidate for Lieutenant Governor. Mike, it is so great to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Thank, Thank you both you, for having me. Thanks for being here today. Um, have you had an opportunity to walk around the fair a little bit? I have. It's a gorgeous day. There's a cr tremendous crowd out there. It's so good to see so many friends and neighbors coming down to support the fair today. Awesome. And um, do you have a favorite booth? Well, I have to say I'm a little partial to the Reading Democratic Town Committee <laughs> booth. <laughs> uh, but there's a se several food booths that I've hit along the way that I, I couldn't complain about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you had a chance to have the uh, Harrow's uh, Chicken Pot Pie? No, but I heard about them. Yes. The single serving ones. That's yes. where I'm headed next. Oh, yeah. It, they're phenomenal. We understand Cupcake City is quite a take today, too. So uh, Well, <laughs> I'm guilty on that one oh. already. <laughs> <laughs> so you're running for uh, lieutenant governor. I understand you have a couple of very good... Uh, endorsements in hand uh, with uh, former Governor Dukakis as well as the National Organization of Women. That's exactly right. Two endorsements I'm proud of. I, I, you know, we have endorsements from city councilors, mayors, state reps, state senators, and of course Governor Dukakis and, and organizations like the National Organization for Women. You know, it's only the second time Governor Dukakis has ever endorsed in a race like this. Uh, so it's a real historic moment. You can imagine how proud that makes me as sure, a candidate to, to have his support. And, and frankly, there's nobody in Massachusetts who's more qualified than a three-term governor <laughs> to say who would make the best lieutenant governor. I think that makes good sense. Definitely. Um, so why do you want to be lieutenant governor? What drew you to um, this race? It's a great question, Laura. You know, when I used to work under President Clinton at the White House, I saw that when government operates at full capacity, it has the ability to provide opportunities for individuals and to communities. The fact of the matter is, without a lieutenant governor today in Massachusetts, we are missing opportunities. We're missing the opportunity for the lieutenant governor to partner with local officials to resolve the challenges we're facing in our cities and towns. We're missing the opportunity for the lieutenant governor to build or, uh, relationships around the world to attract new jobs to the Commonwealth, jobs that pay a livable wage. And we're missing the opportunity to partner with nonprofit organizations right here in Massachusetts that are fighting for great causes. When I worked at United Way of Massachusetts Bay and Merrimack Valley, we partnered with the former lieutenant governor to try and end family homelessness in Massachusetts. That work needs to continue, and there are more organizations that need that point of contact in the governor's office. Excellent. You addressed an issue which I was actually going to ask you about, which is we don't currently have a lieutenant governor. That's correct. Uh, but what kind of uh, maybe attributes or characteristics do you think you can bring to that office to kind of bring that office back into the, into the fold for Massachusetts? Well, I'm the only candidate in this race who has represented Massachusetts in bringing jobs to the Commonwealth. I've worked with Governor Patrick and his administration to build partnerships. We, we built a partnership between Massport and the Port Authority of Lisbon, between Catalonia, Spain, and Massachusetts, recognizing that Catalonia, like Massachusetts, is investing in high-tech, clean-tech, and life sciences, the very same three industries we've been investing in here. There are so many opportunities for our researchers to collaborate, for jobs to be brought to the Commonwealth. And these are jobs that, as I said, pay a livable wage and give an individual a career path. It's not just about standing behind a cash register trying to make ends meet. Where in Massachusetts, if you earn minimum wage, you have to work four full-time jobs a week to be able to afford to live in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Right. It just doesn't make doesn't sense. Doesn't make sense. All right. Well, we thank you for stopping by here uh, at the RCTV booth, and uh, thank you for coming out to the Reading Street Fair today. Hope you have a great time for the rest of the day and uh, get to meet a lot of people and have some people share some ideas with you. We're here with uh, candidate Mike Lake, who is running for lieutenant governor here in the Commonwealth, and uh, good luck on Tuesday. You're in the primary on Tuesday. That's exactly right. Please remember to vote for Michael Lake on September 9th. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again in November on that ballot as well. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All thank right. you so much. Good great luck to today. You. All right. Thank Likewise. You. We'll be back. You're watching us here on RCTV.